Brightlingsource.com here, and I'm reviewing a Sin U1 Submarine Steel uh, Automatic Watch here. This is, uh, the U series are use their, um, their, uh, their submarine steel in their watches, and like all Sins, they're, uh, tool watches with, um, very legible hands and legible indexes, um, in general, just very functional watches. Um, let's give you a little wrist shot of this guy here. Sinew 1, uh, 44 millimeters in diameter. Very good size. My wrists are about uh, 6 and 3 quarters, so just to give you an idea what that looks like on here. Uh, lug width is 22 millimeters. Slight taper to the bracelet. It's about 14.3 millimeters thick, according to Sin. And the head weighs 113 grams. So, submarine steel is, well, not sure exactly what it is. They don't tell you what the compositions are, and they try to keep it sort of a, a mystery. Um, and, uh, well, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not generally, I, I like Sin, but I'm not generally a huge fan of things like surgical stainless steel or, or that kind of BS, because I think it's just marketing mumbo-jumbo, and it's just like, you just, just say what kind of steel it is, you know? I mean, um, uh, even even Rolex just uh, who who are sort of like the kings of using marketing language for all their stuff. They even just specify what kind of steel they use in their watches. They don't try and give it, you know, uh, you know, retina steel or, or 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 you know, something like that. Some sort of you know, Apple style uh, marketing. Um, but Sin chose to use submarine steel as their their name for the steel used in the U watches, uh, which you know, like I said, it's, it's, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it's okay. I like Sin. Um, they don't tegument the bracelet and they don't tegument the case on these ones, but they do tegument the bezel. Um, I don't know if you guys ever compared um, the tegumented steel to the other steels. Um, the tegumented steel has a sort of a warmer gray to it. Um, this one here has the optional, uh, well, I guess either one's optional depending on which one you bought it with, but this one has um, the, the rubber, which was purchased afterwards, so, and with a tegumented bracelet on it. You can, you can kind of see the difference here, like, you might not be able to see it up on, on, the, on the video screen there, but I can see it here. There's a slightly different color between the two. Um, I kind of wish they tegumented the whole thing. I'm not sure why they didn't. Um, just the just the bezel, which is also made of submarine steel. The whole thing is submarine steel. Um, but you can kind of see the difference here. It's sort of a warmer gray on, on the on this tegumented um, uh, deployant hair clasp. So, which is which is you know pretty nice one actually. I think does a good job with them. Um, but uh, yeah, just just a something something that I, I've always noticed. With, with the Tegumenti cases, and being that this one uses both steels, you're probably never going to notice it, but it is it is something to 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 be aware of, and uh, maybe a neat factoid. Um, the the Sinew one's good down to 1,000 meters. Um, I think you can see it there on the front. Automatique, 1,000 meters. Uh, and 100 bar, it says there in red. Um, this is not running right now has not been worn for a little while. Wind it up, get it going there. The movement in this guy is in, well, this one is a Salita uh, SW200. Um, the U1s that were built pre-2013, I think sometime in 2013 it was changed, uh, use the ETA 2824 movement, which is the precursor to the Salita that has since basically replaced it in most watches. Uh, most Swiss watches, at least, um, because, of course, swatches stop providing them. So, nice watch here. Um, the, the bracelet, like like most of the Sins, has these, um, uh, they're screw-in, but they use the, the Allen keys on them to screw in, which is kind of cool. Always like that feature. Um, bead blasted all the way around, and the tegumenting is nice because it uh, makes it harder to scratch, right? Um, the bezels are the bezel on the sins are nice too. They're all screwed in, the same way Breitling's are screwed in here and here. Nice, very very fine craftsmanship. I think these retail 
uh, around two grand U.S., maybe a little more than that with the with the bracelet. Um, and you, usually you pick them up from watch buys because I think they're the only uh, dealer for them. In general, I, I really like the Zin, Zin U1. Uh, it's a really cool watch. It's a great tool watch. I think you know having a crown there at the four o'clock position makes it a little bit more interesting. Um, you know, it's got the the date, which is hidden underneath the minute hand here. We'll move it over so you can see it. It's uh, quite nice there. Um, it's just an overall a very, very cool, sleek looking tool watch that uh, it's going to look pretty badass on your wrist. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this quick review of the Sin U1.